5,700 babies per year are born there. The beautifully renovated Holyrood Chapel serves for special occasions, concerts, and seminars. In the building of the Department of Urology, erected in 1976, the students have the chance to train laparoscopic surgical techniques on a digital simulator. This is a unique device employed in teaching practical clinical skills. The history of dentistry is as long as that of general medicine. In the study program of dentistry, the training is meant to prepare the student for independent professional practice to be taken immediately after graduation. Basic techniques are trained on oral cavity models and mannequin heads. The students learn about the essential professional terminology, instruments, materials, and procedures in a dental lab. They also learn about the development and particular subspecialties of dentistry. Education in psychiatry for the program of general medicine is focused on all the basic mental illnesses and disorders. In clinical training and placements, the students work with patients performing examinations and choosing therapeutic procedures. Their education also includes optional courses of various orientations. While training at the Department of Psychiatry, they also visit the mental hospital in Bohonitsa, the Institute of Sexology, and the Alcohol and Drug Detoxification Center at St. Polonaris. During their course, the students can also get familiar with principles of modern rehabilitation, functional diagnosis, and therapy. They work in outpatient facilities and the daycare center with patients who suffered brain lesions. Students in bachelor degree programs of physiotherapy and occupational therapy learn about basic principles of functional assessment using all means of rehabilitation to provide the best possible quality of life. The Department of Rehabilitation Medicine occupies a building fully adapted for wheelchairs and is the only clinic in the country that has European accreditation for postgraduate medical education in this field. Apart from the General Teaching Hospital, the faculty has some training institutions in the Teaching Hospital, Na Balupca, Central Military Hospital, Motul Teaching Hospital, Tomeyer Teaching Hospital, and Institute of Rheumatology. The faculty promotes the program of student exchange, utilizing the current European programs. The number of incoming students from all over Europe under the Erasmus program has increased. Biomedical research is one of the most important things for the faculty. Among the seven medical faculties in the Czech Republic, the first faculty of medicine occupies the first place with 27% acknowledged outputs of scientific research. The most significant fields of research at the faculty include, for instance, molecular biology and cell pathology. Doctor degree study programs in biomedical science are provided at the faculty in both Czech and English languages and in full-time and combined form. The goal of the studies are supervised by 19 accredited field boards and is not only the PhD degree but, above all, preparation for independent scientific work in the sphere of basic and purpose-aimed research. The first trial of strength for the students at the beginning of their scientific career is offered by student scientific conferences, which are organized by the faculty every year. Presentations of students' work are rigorously judged by boards of experts.
one of the many outstanding personalities of the world science who was awarded the honorary doctor degree in medical science to the proposal by the first faculty of medicine was Solomon Halbert Snyder, the professor of neurosciences, pharmacology, and psychiatry. Together with the Humanitarian Medics Club, the faculty organizes a cycle of concerts called Faculty in the Heart of Karlov, which takes place in the churches of Karlov and Albertov. These concerts meet really keen interest to the public. Every faculty should have its academic club. This venue in the historic Faust House, woven around by many legends, offers the students with a haven of tranquility to spend their spare time. Apart from the comfortable setting for chats with friends, it is a place where the faculty can organize a scope of evening discussions, exhibitions, and other events. Prospective physicians must know how important it is to compensate intellectual work by intensive exercise. The university's sports facilities offer them really ample opportunity. In addition to the regular sports activities, there are seasonal canoeing and skiing courses too. It has become traditional to hold the regular spring picnic with students and their teachers, organized by the Union of Czech Medical Students in the Garden of Clinical Departments of Neurology and Psychiatry, as well as the Children's Day, organized by the faculty together with the students, the General Teaching Hospital, and district authorities of Prague too. It is impossible to tell about the rich traditions of Charles University and its the first medical faculty in detail in a couple of minutes. Nor can you sum up briefly the years of demanding studies. A good many students will realize it when entering the Great Hall of the Grand Old Carolinum again. By taking the solemn oath and receiving the diploma they complete their studies at the first faculty of medicine. This is a moment the new physicians will often recall in their memories, a moment that closed the beautiful period of student life, and at a time, thanks to the high standard of education, opened their successful career in the medical profession. <laughs>